The world has some strange stereotypes of Africa. These preconceptions are being challenged in a variety of domains, and one of them is fashion. Let's take a look at some of the paradigm-shifting designers at this year's AFI event in Cape Town. When the sun dipped towards the depths of the Atlantic, Cape Town put its glamour face on. And in terms of colour, energy and creativity, the mother city was matched by the designers, models and fashionistas as it gathered for this highly anticipated evening event. The most inspiring fashion designers have jetted into the mother city to showcase a fusion of fashion, art and design. While stylists and makeup artists teased, dabbed and powdered backstage, online influencers gathered to analyze and evaluate the continent's latest style concepts. Tonight's lineup of designers are absolutely brilliant. I'm super, super excited of meeting up with my fellow bloggers as well. And yeah, just having a good time. The event attracted designers from almost every corner of the continent. So if someone needs to talk about Africa in dress, it's me because it's my passion. For me, it's how we can be peaceful, all the races, and my inspiration always is a freedom. Salima's creations took wearers and viewers on a tour of the continents, exploring color and texture in a contemporary fantasy inspired by traditional elements. <laughs> I found Salima's show quite exquisite. The type of caliber that she brought about was simply amazing. From traditionality to even modernization, a blend of mixture of everything. I felt her show represented African fashion at its best. It was so organically and authentically African. While Salima's work was undeniably spectacular, it wasn't intended for everyday wear. In contrast, the Matrosa collection offered something for every occasion with the designer's heritage proudly displayed. What inspired your collection? People know us as, as a knitwear brand, but as a brand that has a strong DNA based on pattern design, we are able to extend our design. So we showcase that tonight. Designer Sibu Siso Mahwane showed a particular flair for innovation in his choice of fabric, turning everyday cloth into a thing of beauty. The concept revolved around ethical fashion, so what I decided to do was to create ready-to-wear clothing using set cloth. The set cloth back in the days was used for slavery days. I wanted to send out a specific message, which is sustainable fashion, ethical fashion, and obviously the message of saying unity as one in Africa. You know, in fashion, we continuously drawing inspiration from the Western world, from the Eurocentric market, but this time I Am Africa speaks to let's draw inspiration from Africa, let's draw inspiration from how we are able to influence and inspire the West, Europe, the UAE, etc., etc., because it's all happening here. Even classic international silhouettes can be reinvigorated by an African touch, especially when they celebrate the women who wear them. You feel very strongly about empowering women through what they wear. I'm so glad you can see that I design pieces for the progressive woman. I love empowering women and just through colors, through cuts, through fabrication and prints as well. Very classic silhouettes, a little sexy, but they're statement pieces that are classic. So in five years, you can still wear a piece and it'll still look fabulous. Born in the Democratic Republic of Congo and now based in the USA, Kahindo sets out to infuse her designs with a sense of nostalgia and modernity by combining traditional Congolese textiles with the styles of mid-20th century Americana. This cross-cultural fusion has international appeal while also offering a fresh African interpretation of Western wardrobe essentials. Would you put me in your diary? In my life, I've never seen melanin so dark. You're a queen. Coco Chanel once said, I don't do fashion, I am fashion. Now I have no doubt that if she was here tonight, she'd rather say, I am Africa. Africa. 